Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. Um, today I'm checking out Super Mario Odyssey on Yuzu 129. These are the settings that I'm going to be using. So you can see, got this shader cache on, asynchronous GP emulation on, it's going on a native 720p, and for controls we're on top mode here, which means a uh, high resolution. So before we get started, I'd like to show off three mods that I'm using to improve performance. One is Disabled Dynamic Resolution, which means that the resolution stays stuck to 720p. One is Disabled Audio, this is the most important one, which I'll talk about later. And Lower Draw Distance, which means that NPCs will only get rendered at a closer you know, distance. So if you're close to them, they'll pop up, but if you're not, they won't show up. Which means that you know your CPU won't be getting as pressed as normally would. So let's check it out with the mod. Once we load in, you'll see that the frame rate is kind of low. It's slow, sluggish. You can see 21 frames per second right now. After the first few seconds of loading, the game kind of starts working better. So what's kind of hammering the system now is this view over here where we've got the, the ship in the sky, all the effects and the environment being rendered. And as you can see, it's already improved performance is up to 45 FPS in this view. Now if I were to move around and like look around here and there, we're at 57, 58 isn't bad at all so I'm just gonna roll go in the water roll out of the water still about 50 fps you know we're pretty good pretty playable even though it might not look like it but it is pretty playable from what it was before so I'm just gonna do this get some coins out so you can see you're gonna do a spin to win move you know they call spin to win as you can see pretty playable gonna destroy these boxes see no frame drops there we're still at 60 54 52 that's the average let's go check out the area at the back here no get some coins move back down secret point here go in as the fog's rolling it's the fog is also being rendered pretty decently <clears throat> now we have to get up there So this is like the benchmark group that I'm going to take uh, to show you guys also what it's like without the mods so that you can like understand the difference that this mod makes, especially the audio mod. So let's talk about the audio mod. The audio mod removes all the audio from the game. No dialogues, no sound effects, no music, no nothing. It's all gone. It's just silent. And the reason for this is that somebody figured out that, I think it was devs, but somebody figured out that the audio was what was causing all the stutter in the game. You would just be standing still and you would still get stutters. So once they removed the audio, the game started performing much much better as you can see now. But but they didn't know that the audio was an issue so it was never worked on. And the devs for Yuzu, they don't have a lot of experience with audio and they don't have an audio dev so we don't know when this will be fixed. But the game is pretty playable. Right now, if you really, if you really want to play Mario, if you really want to play Odyssey. I'm just gonna go open this up, get some water out. Like, look, it's all being rendered perfectly fine. Not perfectly fine, but pretty playable. Got some micro stutter there. Let's open up these flowers. Boom! Got a heart. Jump up. Now everything's working fine. Backflip. Roll. So it's extremely playable. Now, I haven't got inside the tower yet, so that's something that I plan on doing to show you guys how it's going to be like when entering a new area. I think I haven't been in there, so it's going to be a brand new area that hmm, doesn't have any shader cache compile, so it's going to be a lag fest, I assume. I'm just gonna jump up. Oh, there. Hit this button. Something's happening. There we go. Gonna slow, slow down there. Boom. Slight freeze, but it's it's working. We got Goombas. There we go. Shader cache being compiled right there because I've never encountered Goombas in this game, so. 
Got another one, ouch. Some weird flickering going on. Not sure why, but that's happening. Anyways, let's open up these flowers because we know that flowers means heart. And let's go inside and see how we go inside. Oh, that. Again, share cash freeze. Okay, new area inside top hat tower. Pretty playable, we've got blocks here, let's hit the block. Share cash being compiled yet again, but not for that long. It's good, it means that it's pretty playable. Go here, hit this, hit this, no. As you can see, not play. Let's jump here, oops. Actually working fine, working fine. Mario swimming is fine, these frogs. There we go, shader cache compilation for this cutscene. Mario gets lifted up. Well, this is a new effect, so it's struggling. But I think this is the only time this happened, I'm not sure. There we go. So Mario is now a frog. Oh my god, I'm a frog. Oh, what is this? Mustache frog. I've, I've captured a frog. So let's see if the shader cache is. Oh, okay, cool. Left plus. Why is dash? Whoa! See, pretty, pretty cool. Mm. Jump up! Oh, can't really get up there. Okay, I guess not. Oh, I guess I don't know how to get up there. So as you can see, it's pretty playable. We're still at a lock sixty here. Oh, there we go. Shader cash. Small jump. We keep climbing up and we keep uh, Goombas. How do I? How do I kill them? Just keep, just keep jumping, huh? Just keep hopping, hopping, hop. Easy. So that is the game with the mods. Now, if I were to let's say stop this, right-click on the properties, turn off the mods, hit OK. The game refresh a bit and load the game again. There we go, it's loaded. 60 FPS. Boom. Beautiful music. Can't play too much of it because I'll just get copyrighted by Nintendo on a small channel. Same spot, we wait for a little while, wait for the game to load, let everything load. You know, once. Just remember, we hit 45 FPS last time at this same spot once everything loaded up. There we go. So, as you can see, without the mods as well, we <laughs> just, just dropped quality. Because dynamic resolution. So it's just dropped quality. And yeah, there we go, stutters. Just run around. You can hear the audio slowing down. Just there we go, freeze. The audio is a stuttery mess. This game's just lagging. So you, if you're watching, you can see all these stutters. This shouldn't be happening. 
like the lag when breaking those boxes. It's not something that usually happens. See, every time I break boxes, it happens. Yep, oh, let's jump down. Let's get those coins. Again, we're gonna break boxes and we're gonna see that, you know, it's gonna be laggy. There we go. There's the lag. Let's go again. I mean, I'm getting coin rich, but it's laggy. Nope, stuck. Let's go get the water. This is a completely different experience from what we had moments ago because, yes, there is audio and it feels good. It feels good to have audio, you know, it feels immersive, but it's just so stuttery. Forget the visuals, I could just pick one mod for that, but it's just so stuttery. Like, look at that. Nope, it's already down. Go back in. Okay, we're getting some sort of flickering that I don't know why or what, but hey, it's, it's happening. Oh my god, is this bad? Oh dear lord. Oh dear lord. What is this? Why is this happening? But yes, let's become a frog again. Shader Cash Shack. Shader Cash was compiled, so it's faster this time. But you can hear the audio is so choppy. I captured a frog again. But this time there's some weird flickering going on. I don't know what to explain, so if you are prone to seizures and epilepsy, I would not just watching this footage. But yes, it's a lot of micro stutters. It's it's not playable. It's not playable. Now, this could be a because of I, me switching like the settings, but the micro stutters are still there, and that's been happening since before this flickering. So that's Super Mario Odyssey without the mods and with the mods. I hope they can fix the audio soon because this game is just breathtakingly beautiful. I would love to play it on my Ryzen 1600. If you have something like a Ryzen 2600 or a Ryzen 3600, or anything better than that, honestly, like a 2700X, you should have no problems uh, playing this game at 60fps with the audio removed, because so just better CPUs than mine. If you have an Intel CPU, anything like an 8700K, 9700K, you should be fine as well, because just overclock them a little bit, and you should be fine playing these games at 60fps without the audio. But that's about sums it up for this video. If you found this helpful, you know, hit that like button. Let me know what you think about the game. If you want more games tested on different emulators using this setup, go to Ryzen 5 1600 or 2070 Super with 16 bits of RAM. If you want other games tested on other emulators, let me know because I do play other emulator games as well, like RPCS3 and Citra, and just like a lot of things on RetroArch. So let me know if you want more. That's about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've been Darren. Have a good one.